Okay, and the last thing I want to show you how to do is how to replenish your resources. Okay. The most abundant tile, in my opinion, besides the dirt, is, of course, stone. Okay, stone is everywhere. So, all you have to do to replenish your minerals and your metals is to do the tile mask like we talked about. So, we don't want to mask obsidian, we want to mask stone. Okay, and we don't want to turn it into spikes, we want to turn it into, mm, I don't know, maybe people are complaining they can't find iron, okay, on your server. And then you want to pick a brush, and you want to pick an appropriate size that's a little bit big. Okay, and then I can hold the button all I want up here, and it's not going to do anything. It's only when I go over stone, okay, that it paints it. So instead of having a lot of oddly shaped things, for example, if if you're adding it in yourself, you're gonna you're gonna do this, and it's gonna look really bad. It's gonna look really tacky, even if you squiggle it. Okay, it's gonna take forever too. So you want to just make sure you enable the mask, stone mask, so it only paints on the stone. And so these randomly created stone patterns turn into randomly created iron ore. You can do that with anything copper, gold, see, only the stone is turning, silver. Okay, and if you want to add some gems, which will actually, you know, be stone, it'll, uh, the gems will be hidden in stone. Just do that. And remember, you're, you're coloring several squares, at, square tiles at one time. It's hard to get perspective when you're using T-Edit, but... Anyway, um, that's how you replenish the minerals on your server. Okay, this is a map that uh, some of my friends list created. Um, we created a dungeon. He created a dungeon down here. Um, this is a volcano that hasn't erupted yet. Okay. This is some sort of a crater or something. Underground temple. Okay. This is a castle he built. Which actually looks really cool and in game. And this is the bridge he made can't really uh, see how cool it looks but I might have to do a video showing it in game head of that castle up on the floating island okay uh, this is the sunless sea it looks pretty small until you get in game and it's actually really big this is our spawn spawn building and some shops around it. This is his floating forest that he created. Um, which we made so you can't edit it. We did that using T-Shock. So in order to navigate it you have to actually jump on the platforms. Looks like some somebody's castle, and under here, well, we created a little underground pyramid.